Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 59159, Class Bravo. Year 2018. State, Pennsylvania. Observed. I was at our job site tending to a portable generator and turbo heater. I was sitting in my truck almost asleep when I heard leaves crunching over in the woods. At first I thought it was a deer, but as it got closer I could tell it was on two feet. I heard it going back and forth several times almost like pacing. Then I could see in the moonlight with the footsteps crunching the leaves that it definitely was on two feet. Then it stops. All of a sudden I heard a loud bang off the tank. I think it had to have thrown a rock because of how loud the bang was on the tank. Then I heard more footsteps come even closer now. As I'm trying to look into the woods where I last saw movement, I realized it was standing right at the edge of the woods right beside my truck. I was paralyzed. It must have seen me at this point as it was sitting there. As I tried to get my composure, I reached down in the door of my truck for my handgun. As I looked back up, I could hear it walking off in the leaves. I started the truck and turned the headlights towards the woods but didn't see or hear anything more. This was the most terrifying five to six minutes of my life. Other witnesses, I was alone. Other stories, no. Time and conditions, 2.02 a.m. It was a well-lit, moonlit, three-quarter moon, mostly clear sky, 23 degrees Fahrenheit cold. The environment, it was wooded property clearing around a job site. 84 feet tall water tanks. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Amy Boo. I interviewed this witness over the phone and then met him in person. I found him to be extremely credible. He is a construction foreman in Pennsylvania. When this encounter took place, he was at a construction site where he had to sit in his truck all night while waiting to make sure that the generator didn't stop working. The generator was heating up some water that had frozen. He had to make sure the fire stayed lit. He had set his alarm to go off every half hour, and in the meantime, he was bundled up and would sleep in the driver's side of his truck with the seat back. The truck was shut off because he wasn't able to dim the light, lights with it on. It was cold, but there was no snow on the ground. He stated that before his alarm went off at the next set time, he was awakened by what he thought was something pushing on and moving the truck. He realized that he couldn't see the flame of the generator, as if something was blocking it. But when he looked again, it was clear. He didn't immediately notice anything else, and although he was startled, he started to go back to sleep. Then he heard something walking into the nearby woods. He could hear the thing pacing back and forth. Then he heard something hit the generator with a large boom. He assumed it was a rock. A figure stepped out of the woods, he saw the profile, and there was no muzzle. It looked uniform in color, and it was tall. He claimed that he knew right away that it was too tall to be a person. He tried to get his bearings and went to grab his phone from the seat next to him, and he accidentally hit it across the seat onto the floor. When he straightened up from trying to grab his phone and his gun, then he said the figure turned to face him. When he got to this part of telling me the story, he was visibly shaken. His wife and dog were with him while he was telling the story to me. They were upset that he was upset. He said it was then that he realized how massive this thing was. The shoulder width was beyond anything that he could comprehend, and he knew that it was looking at him. At this point in the interview process, I asked an investigator who I had brought along with me to go and stand where he pointed out that the figure had been standing. This investigator is about six feet tall and when she stood there the witness was again visibly upset. He said the size of the creature compared to this investigator was so much bigger that he couldn't comprehend it. Using a measuring tape against a branch he remembered 
its head hitting, he estimated it to be between eight to nine feet tall. It was, however, the width and bulk of it that had really impressed him. The witness reported that the figure soon moved back into the woods and that he stuck it out as long as he could through the rest of the night. This happened around 2 a.m., but he was on high alert and didn't sleep any more. As he was collecting himself after giving me his report, I asked his wife if he had said anything to her after this had happened. She said he had texted her and called her right after the figure left and that he was extremely upset both then and when he came home. He didn't go to work for the next few days and this guy never misses work. He is just a normal, hard-working guy who had an experience he wasn't looking for and that he still can't explain. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.